Welcome to the Defeating Epilepsy Foundation YouTube channel. In this presentation, we will discuss what a SPECT scan is, what it can diagnose, SPECT scans in epilepsy, the process of having a SPECT scan, and risk. Make sure to like our videos and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell to be notified of future videos. Please click on our donate link in the description section below and donate today. Your donation helps us to make a difference for those battling epilepsy. We appreciate your support. SPEC scan is short for Single Photon Emission Computerized Tomography Scan. It uses a radioactive substance along with a special camera to create 3D images. The primary purpose of this scan is for a doctor to analyze how the patient's organs are functioning by highlighting blood flow. Blood flow is an indicator of the organ's activity level. SPEC scans are used to diagnose the following. For the brain, traumatic brain injury, Alzheimer's disease, epilepsy or seizures, stroke, other issues impacting the blood flow to the brain. For the heart, pinpoint pathological areas in the heart by capturing blood flow, clogged arteries, inefficient pumping of blood, scar tissue from a previous heart attack, and determine the need for bypass surgery. For the bones, bone cancer, stress fractures, and bone infections. SPEC scan is specifically used as a pre-surgical evaluation for patients with refractory epilepsy to accurately localize the ictal foci. Ictal foci refers to the region of the brain that is causing the seizure as ictal means during a seizure. Accurate localization of ictal foci is important for patients suffering from refractory epilepsy because patients who have reached this stage of epilepsy can no longer rely on medicine to control their seizures. Thus, the only option available to them is either surgery or electrical stimulation. Surgery for refractory epilepsy was limited to a few patients because the previous method to localize the ictal foci was called scalp EEG. Scalp EEG used electrodes to detect signals from the brain, which was evaluated by doctors to localize the structure causing the seizure. However, it had difficulty differentiating seizure origins in deeper brain areas unreachable by electrodes. More invasive measures were required to detect signals from deeper structures, and it often gave subpar results. This is where SPEC scan comes into play as it's a non-invasive neuroimaging method with a unique capability in detecting blood flow, functional changes during seizures. This gives accurate localization of structures causing the seizure, making surgery a viable option for patients suffering from refractory epilepsy. There isn't much to prepare for a SPEC scan. It may, however, take a few hours to several days for a scan to be completed. This is because SPEC scan requires the scan to take place during the onset of a seizure. SPEC scans take place in an epilepsy monitoring unit. The patient will wait after a radioactive injection through an intravenous infusion in the arm until the onset of a seizure. Some key things to note before the scan is done. Leave metallic jewelry at home. Inform the technologist if you're pregnant or breastfeeding and bring a list of all the medications and supplements you take. The scan will take place in the SPEC machine, a large circular device containing a camera that detects the radioactive tracer in the patient's body. During the scan, the patient will lie on a table while the machine is rotating around the patient, much like an MRI. The length of the scan is dependent on the reason for the patient's procedure. After the test, the radioactive tracer will leave the patient's body through urine within a few hours. The patient will be asked to drink more fluid to help flush the tracer out. Over the next few days, the tracer that has not been flushed out will be broken down naturally. SPEC scans are generally very safe and do not trigger harmful side effects. Minor bleeding, pain, or swelling at the injection site of the radioactive tracer may occur, which should diminish within a day or two.
There are some rare cases of patients having an allergic reaction to the radioactive dye, which may result in the doctor suggesting that the patient does not undergo a spec scan. The patient will still be able to be diagnosed by alternative methods, such as an MRI. In conclusion, spec scans are a safe, non-invasive method to accurately localize the area causing seizures to patients suffering from refractory epilepsy. It can provide crucial information for successful surgery and poses little to no risk to the patient. Its unique capacity to create a 3D depiction of the patient's blood flow in pathological areas gives its extensive uses outside of just epilepsy as well. To learn more about SPEC scans, please check out the resources used in the presentation today. Please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on our social media pages. We would love to hear from you. Leave a comment below or email us at info at defeatingepilepsy.org. Thank you for your support and together we will defeat epilepsy. Check out our other great videos and subscribe today. You have the power to defeat epilepsy.